Hello, I am Christopher Cola Gaming, and welcome back to JMR Recap. It's been a bit with the uh, inconsistent JMR scheduling for this race, but we're back and we're going to be covering the A and B League Round 3s of Sand Marble Rally Season 7. So, we've waited long enough. Without further ado, let's get into the B League Race 3. This race started with Big Pearl immediately taking the lead, but they'd be quickly be in a battle of H2 Blue and Marbly McMarble Face. These marbles would be battling for the top three pretty much the entirety of the race. That doesn't mean no one else ever tried to get involved though, as the current league leader El Capitan briefly was able to take a lead in the race, but lost it coming over this wall here and uh, hitting a hard part of the barrier, falling back to third, letting Big Pearl take first place. All of our racers would be pretty close together going through the split, but El Capitan would get stuck briefly on, a, on where the split reconnects, and it would take another marble to hit them to get them going again, and that basically took them out of contention to win this race, as Big Pearl and Marbley McMarble Face extended their leads over the rest of the field. Marbley McMarble Face was, uh, was able to make a better exit of the catch basin than Big Pearl was at this point in the race, letting Marbley McMarble Face briefly take a lead over Big Pearl, but that would be short-lived as Big Pearl would take it back going through the split section. Big Pearl would go on to win this race, but it's not really because they went to the course quickly, it's more that they were doing a great job at blocking Marbly McMarble Face from taking their lead for the majority of the race. As you can see here, they keep preventing passes from Marbly McMarble Face by basically mirroring Marbly McMarble Face in front of Marbly McMarble Face, and that would eventually lead to Big Pearl winning the race with Marbly McMarble Face in second and Deep Ocean in third. Fun game, take a shot every time I say Marbly McMarble Face. Outside of our top three, our league leader, El Capitan, missed the podium for the first time this race, coming in fourth place, and a race one winner, Green Turtle, came in fifth. After starting in the top three at the start of the race, H2 Blue would fall all the way to seventh, and down in ninth place, we see Cobra, who outscored their entire season point total, previously three points this race, getting them to four points. They are still in last, though, as we will now transition to the overall standings. Despite missing the podium for the first time this race, El Capitan is still in first place by three points over Big Pearl, who, after getting back-to-back -back fifth places, got a race win today, uh, letting them get into second place, as Green Turtle, our race one winner, falls to third with 28 points. Our biggest gainers in positions after this race are the fifth and sixth place Deep Ocean and Marbly Marble Face, who both gained three spots each, and our biggest position losers after this race were the 8th and 9th placed Cool Moody and Summer Sky, who both lost 4 positions each. And as we look down in last place, we see Cobra with 9 points, to the surprise of no one. This race immediately saw Slimer take the lead out of the gate, the reigning Marble Rally champion, and the top 3 turned into a duel quickly of Blizzard Blaster and uh, 19th place Duct Tape behind Slimer. Everyone I just mentioned aside from Slimer would slowly fall out of the top three as the race progressed, as Reflector and Silver Bolt came up into second and third to try and fight Slimer for the lead. Silver Bolt would successfully take that lead from Slimer a couple turns later, but Slimer would be able to hold their own in second and not lose spots to Reflector, at least for now. Although Slimer takes a big hit on the entrance to the split section, we do not actually see much position changes as the marbles go through the different pathways. Although it does seem to let Reflector gain some momentum, as the top path does seem slightly faster than the bottom one. It is also at this point in the race where Ghost Plasma is briefly stopped and Amethyst and Nemo both DNF, although it does not happen on screen, so we don't exactly know what happened. Another thing that happens off screen is Slimer falling all the way down to fourth, as Reflector takes second and, Sil and Dragon's Egg takes third, as they both catch up to Silver Bolt. Reflector would try to make a lot of moves to try and pass Silver Bolt as they came down to the finish line, but kind of like Big Pearl in Race 1 with Marbly with Marble Face, Silver Bolt was just able to block any moves Reflector try and made to take the lead, including just barely getting the win by like a hundredth of a second coming over the line. Silver Bolt would win, Reflector in second, Dragon's Egg in third. Looking past our top three, Slimer would end up falling all the way to fifth place as they also got passed by Duct Tape, who would come in fourth. The previous league leader and, and race 2 winner, Super Bowl, would have a mediocre 11th place finish this race, only scoring 5 points. This race only saw those two DNF that happened off screen, and the Pure's Ghost Plasma, after getting briefly hung up, was unable to get it going again at all, as they would be the lowest placing actually finishing Marvel in 18th place, only scoring 1 point. 
one more quick thing. For the first time this season, the Ghost Marble was able to beat two actually racing competitors who didn't get stuck. The Ghost Marble did was able to place above Phoenix and Ghost Plasma. Looking at the overall standings, Reflector's silver medal would put them in first place by 11 points over Super Ball, who looks a lot like Silver Bolt on the graphic, but that probably doesn't mean anything. Silver Bolt getting the win in this race after being in literally dead last 20th place let them jump 11 spots all the way to 9th place, giving them 20 points, as they previously had 2. Dragon's Egg's first medal of the season also let them jump a considerably high 6 spots into 5th place. Since Silver Bolt won the race, we have a new marble in the spot of 20th place being Comet with 5 points. At the bottom of the standings, we can also see Ghost Plasma in 18th with only 9 points, which is out of character for them, because they're usually known for their really strong starts at the starts of Sand Marble Rally seasons. That's really all I got for today's episode of JMR Recap, so I hope you come back next Tuesday for the next episode of JMR Recap, where we'll be covering the A and B League Race 4s of the 7th season of the Sand Marble Rally. If you managed to watch this whole video, that means you are legally obligated to subscribe to the Christopher Cola Gaming YouTube channel, or you will be sentenced to death. That is definitely a real law that I did not just make up, so um, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time!